Hi Year 11, I'm Will, Year 13 at Ross at Sixth Form. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be thinking about what to do after GCSEs, be it apprenticeships, A-levels or anything else. I'm sure a lot of you are also considering Ross at Sixth Form. And I think it's great, but if you don't believe me, this is just a short video to tell you why. Uh, hi, I'm Ellen Dunn and I'm Head Girl. Hello, I'm Ryan, I'm Head Boy. I'm currently studying Chemistry, Biology and PE. And I'm studying Maths, Chemistry and Physics. And at uh, Rosset Sixth Form, they are very supportive with the UCAS process. Um, you have a lot of support put in place from Ms Grabham, Mr Foley, Ms Mackay and your subject teachers and also your form tutors. We also have a lot on offer at Rosset, not just A-levels and B-techs, we've got other things like EPQ, uh, lots of sports clubs available and we also have enrichment which where in year 12 you help out other lower school lessons so I helped out in biology and chemistry lessons it's really interesting to see what it's like being a teacher versus a student. Basically I've been helping out in tech enrichment and it's really good because I get the chance to help um, younger kids out there struggling with their project. Yeah Ross at Six Home is very friendly and your teachers have an open door so you can always go to them if you have any problems and it's like a little community. <laughs> um, so in sixth form there are many different pathways um, which helps with the future and stuff. So I'm part of the DMV, one which stands for dentistry, uh, medicine and veterinary and um, when I'm older I want to go into medicine so it's good. You have a teacher that helps you so um, for the DMV this year it's Miss Grabben so We've already been on two trips to talk about medicine, and um, one with someone from Cambridge and a consultant for the other one. So it's good to talk to people about the future and already starting to think about it so you can work hard on your subjects. Ross has also got a very friendly environment with coming from that our listeners programme where our six formers go and help out with your seven forms. Yeah, so um, in the listeners scheme we learn a lot of skills um, to help with younger children and students in year 7 um, and that provides great examples to put on your personal statement and reference um, it's just a nice thing to get involved with and it's nice that Ross has that opportunity for students. Um, so RAG week stands for Raising and Giving and it's the week um, of fundraising for different charities different activities and events go on and we have the uh, pleasure of hosting them to say their ideas. Uh, we help like the year above and there's like a big fair on the Wednesday. Mm -hmm. There's lots of stalls <laughs> etc. We dress up, this year we all dress up as pink ladies, it was really good. And, uh, really fun. <laughs> this is the calf. And this is Cat, and this is Cat's Cafe. Hey, Oh, thanks, Cat. <laughs> so the, the transition play level is it's actually made really easy by the school. There's, there's a lot of uh, assemblies, and you have a lot of opportunities to talk to students that are at the school and or at the school about what subjects they're doing. And you can also speak to teachers who are really good at giving advice about what sort of subjects to do. And then you've got students that will come into your form time, and now tell you about what subjects they're doing, why they chose them and why they decided to stay. So. Uh, in terms of once you've started sixth form, a uh, major help that I've found has been knowing the teachers and being able to really ask them for help when it's needed because obviously it's quite a big step up from GCSE to A level but they really help make that a lot smoother and help extend your learning and that makes it a lot easier. So there were a few clips about how great Ross is sixth form is. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, A-levels are hard, but Rossi, you'll get a safe, caring, fun environment that will really get the best out of you. Oh well, alright Rob. Anyway, good luck with GCSEs and I hope to see you in September.